Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV UL2 tent. If you are new here, welcome. I make hiking and backpacking vlogs as well as gear reviews and general tips and tricks videos. So if you are interested in content like that, click that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified every time I make a new video. And if you want more content from me, go ahead and support me over on Patreon for as little as $1. You can get two to three extra videos a month. So I purchased the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV UL2 tent at the beginning of the season. I I think I bought this in May and I had had my eye on it. Multiple of my friends have the Copper Spur tent and Big Agnes in 2020 came out with a brand new design. So I was super, super excited about it. So I went ahead and purchased it. The main reason I purchased this tent was the roominess as well as the fact that it is a freestanding tent. I went backpacking in numerous places where a freestanding tent was going to be necessary and I've I've also backpacked in a few places where not having a freestanding tent was super cumbersome. Before I show you all of the cool things about it, I just wanted to talk about some of the specs. It costs $449.95, so basically $450. The tent along with the stakes weighs a total of three pounds, which is not super lightweight, but it is one of the lightest weight tents that you can get at places like REI, especially such a roomy two-person tent. You have a 29 square feet of floor space. You get 40 inches of headroom, so when you are sitting up, it is from floor to the highest point. It is 40 inches, which is super cool, and I can actually stand in it, not obviously upright because I'm not tiny but I can stand in it enough to where like I can be bent over and I can pull up my pants if I'm changing so that's super convenient so the tent comes with all of the stakes the poles the rain fly it does not come with the big Agnes footprint that is an extra $70 and obviously also not included in the three pound weight of the tent I just got some Tyvek and I have cut it to size because I did not want to spend $70 on a foot Print. It is nice to have the footprint. It does clip in nicely and, and whatnot, but it is definitely not necessary and you can totally get away with going to a construction site and just asking someone for a piece of Tyvek. It really does not take a lot and it will last you just as long as the footprint and it's free. I'm just going to quickly set up the tent and then I will show you some of the awesome features. So here's the tent all set up. As you can see, it was very, very, very simple to set up. And like I said, the beauty of it being freestanding is that you can literally pick it up and move it if it is not in a place that you desire it to be. So I have set it up completely, obviously without the rain fly, and it's uh, freestanding. It just stands here by itself, which is absolutely magical to me and I love it. As you can see here, it has two doors. So all of this is connected except for this bar. This one is separate and you just kind of put it on top and then anchor it with this and that creates that 40 inches of headroom that I was talking about for the ceiling. That is 40 inches. So before I put the rain fly in, I'll just go inside and show you some of the inside features. So the zipper is pretty easy to do even with one hand. And you can take this and tuck it into here. So the inside of the tent, as you can see, 
is super roomy. There are various mesh pockets. There's one up above here. Then there's a super, super large one right here. And then along the side here, there's one on this side and one on this side. That is a lot of storage space and it's come in handy quite a bit. There's the other door, which is also really, really convenient. If there are two people sleeping in here, it is really nice not to have to step over anybody. You can just open the other door and get out. Because it is a two-person tent, it is so, so, so roomy for one person. I've absolutely loved having the extra space when backpacking, being able to just put my gear in here and not even have to touch it or deal with it when I'm sleeping and kicking it and whatnot. It's just been a very, very roomy tent. I think really what makes the difference is the headroom. All the corners are raised up, whereas some tents, you know, it, it slopes down and really you don't have a lot of headroom except for the very middle, whereas this tent, it really just has a ton of headroom anywhere you are inside the tent. So I'm gonna put the rain fly on and show you what that looks like. So the awesome thing about the 2020 new Copper Spur design is that the door can be a awning as well. You have to have two trekking poles though. You unzip both sides and then if you have two trekking poles you basically hook them into these corners here and then in your bag with stakes it comes with some cord that you can then guy line out your trekking poles so that they stay like this and you have a whole nother thing of space that's covered so let's say it's raining or something like that you could easily cook underneath your awning and not get wet which is really really cool basically i get super annoyed with this <laughs> because i don't use it as an awning and I find it super annoying to have to roll it up and then there are these little hooks here that you can, you know, it's just, it's super, super obnoxious and cumbersome, I find. So what I've been doing is I just take it and I stuff it up above and it's gone and I don't have to deal with it and that means I also don't have to deal with it when I get into bed at night and I don't have to deal with undoing these little strappies and whatever I have I just tuck it in and it's it works super super great actually the vestibule area is definitely big enough for my backpack as well as my shoes there were a few days where it was raining I don't ever keep my shoes in the tent because they generally smell so I always keep them outside my shoes never got wet I obviously keep my gear inside just because there's room so I can, but if there was two people sleeping in the tent, you would definitely have your gear in the vestibule and it's plenty of space. Your gear will not get wet. One nice feature about the Rainfly is that it has this little mesh window here that gets propped up by this little rod. So it does make it so that there's airflow and so you don't get as much condensation inside your tent, especially if you are near water or if it is raining. I carry this tent all summer long on all different kinds of backpacking trips, as well as when I went car camping, I did also camp in the tent. It's so roomy, there's privacy when you put up the rain fly. If you wanna see the stars, don't put up the rain fly and you'll have the stars just up above you and it's absolutely an awesome tent. I highly recommend it. I know it's expensive. If you take care of it, this tent will last you years and years. I highly recommend that at the end of the season, wash your tent and your rain fly just with water, not put any soap or anything on it. 
there's actually a tag inside the tent that gives you directions on how to clean your tent and I highly recommend doing that at the end of your backpacking season it will prolong the life of your tent just because the dust and all of that does eat away at the uh, coating that's on the rain fly and it will make it not last as long and not be as waterproof so definitely do that and your tent will last you years and years and you will not have to replace it this is my ideal tent there's honestly not much i dislike about it i love the features i think big agnes really created a awesome awesome tent design and the amount of headroom i think is probably my favorite part and the fact that it doesn't taper much so that you have the most space you can get out of a tent. So if you are looking for a new tent, I will link this in the more info box below that you can buy it as well and we can be twinning out on the trail. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram. That's where I post pictures of all of my recent hiking and backpacking trips. And if you wanna backpack and hike in this amazing state of Oregon, check out my website, hikeoregon.net and you'll find tons of information there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next adventure.